Welcome to St. Mark Family Youth and Children Time. Welcome to our show today. Today we're going to ask the question, what is Easter all about? But firstly, let me introduce you to my panel of guests. Representing the younger generation is Miss Know-It-All. Oh, thank you for inviting me back to your show. Um, just ask me the question and I will give you the answer because I know everything. Thank you. Secondly, representing the older generation is Mr. Don't Know A Lot. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, my name is Mr. Don't Know A Lot. Uh, well, uh, I know heaps and heaps of things, so all you have to do is ask me the question. And finally, representing the animal kingdom is Sean the Fox. Say hello, Sean. Yep, yep. Why, thank you, Sean. If we have time, I will ask Sean his opinion. Oh, but I don't think he will really be much help at all. Today's question is, what is Easter all about? And I happen to know the answer myself. Easter is all about Holidays. Everybody I know goes on holidays at Easter, so that is the answer. Holidays. However, just in case there are any other opinions, I will ask my guests the question. Miss Know-It-All, do you know what Easter is all about? Why, well, I certainly do. Easter is not about holidays. Easter is about bunnies. Everybody knows that Easter is the time that all the bunny rabbits come out. Why, thank you, Miss Know-It-All. That was certainly a very interesting answer. Now, Mr. Don't Know a Lot, do you know what Easter is all about? Well, um, it's certainly not about holidays or bunnies. No, Easter is all about eggs. There are ordinary chicken eggs, but the ones I like best are those Cadbury cream eggs. They are so delicious. I have heaps and heaps of them at Easter time. So my answer is eggs. Oh, thank you, Mr. Don't Know A Lot. You certainly lived up to your name. Now, Sean, have you any idea at all about what Easter is all about? Yep, 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 yep. Come on, Sean, don't be shy. Give us your answer. Yep, yep. I need a volunteer to help me. Hey, Sean, I'd like to help. Can I help? I'll be your volunteer. Take a piece of paper and fold it over the top left corner. Fold it over the top left corner. Okay. We'll take the top right corner and fold it over. The top right corner and fold it over. Oh, it's a house. Family is really important at Easter. We get together in our houses. No, now fold the paper down the middle. Down the middle, like there. Oh, look, it made an airplane. Right. Nope. Now take a strip off the paper, opposite the long edge. Take a strip off the paper? But then it's going to ruin my airplane. Just do as you're told. Cut off the strip of paper. Yeah, but I, th th then it won't be a good airplane. But I'll do it. Oh, come on, just cut off a strip of the paper. I did. I got it done. Now I've got a little airplane. What do I do with that? Open up the paper. Open up the paper. Oh, look at this. Yep. It's a paper cross. Sean had the right idea. Easter is all about the cross, but not a paper cross. Yep. A wooden yep. cross that Jesus died on. Gee, Sean, you're pretty smart. Well, thank you everybody for your input. It appears that we know what Easter is all about. Sean is right. Easter can be boiled down into a wooden cross that Jesus died on. But the real story of Easter is a big story. There's so much for us to learn 
from last Sunday when Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem and the palms were waved and people shouted Hosanna to this week when Jesus rises from the dead. You can read from all four Gospels the story of Easter and each one adds a little flavor to the story. Let's end the morning with a little prayer. It's the jelly bean prayer. Red is for the blood he gave. Green is for the grass he made. Yellow is for the sun so bright. Orange is for the edge of night. Black is for the sins that were made. White is for the grace he gave. Purple is for the hour of sorrow. Pink is for a new tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.